talking lions aren't supposed to be able to talk. Don't be ridiculous, Tommy. We're not really lions. We're just pretending. 
for pretending to be. I yeah, wish you had told me before. But why? Because I, I mauled a couple of stagehands. Yeah. I hate the producer. Yeah. Julie! Mm. I must tell you, I feel absolutely humiliated in this costume. I'm so I mean, sorry. I need a little scout's cap for my helmet here. Oh. I mean, the last time I did the show, I wore tails. That's true. I mean, you certainly know how to hurt the most attractive person I know. <laughs> you stop it! Anything I can't stand is an hysterical doctor. <laughs> oh, Judy! <yes. laughs> I saw you wanting to say something over there. You were bursting. To I talk. just wanted to suggest that we leave. is hard to come by. Those who have it remain stars for a long time. Well, two of my guests tonight certainly fill both descriptions. They are unique and they are stars. The brothers, smothers, Tom and Dick. Thank you very much. My brothers would like to sing now with myself after him. The unique and interesting 17th century magical, as only my brother can sing in his, origi in his unique and individual, original 17th century tenor lyric voice, singing, Once goest thou, foul maiden. No, no, that's not singing. Once goest thou, maiden, but when with the foul weather goest, you comest, comest maiden. Well, that's it. Do you happen to know? 
of a maiden in need of a sweetheart who's man who is anxious to please. It's a shame that a handsome young man like me should be left towards the night to be the season to treat. It's a shame that a handsome young fellow like me The song died in the year. The actual nightingale song died in the air. The, night, the nightingale didn't, it was a symbolic death of the song in the air. The nightingale song. In the air. So what happened to the nightingale? I don't, I don't know what happened. It's very interesting. I'm sure I like song. Don't you think the river has made a better of a breeze to make love watch the night and get a sing? I told you, I don't want any any bird songs, no, was, any bird calls in the song. This is a love song. No, you see, that I was I was adding, I was doing the sound of the nightingales to add a re realistic to the I sound know of the what flower. you were doing. You were singing very good, good to my brother singing it. You were singing it. But thank you very much, but I don't, I don't want any just, bird song, and I don't want you to change the subject. The that. subject is the bird calls. I don't want any stupid bird calls in the song. No more stupid cheap cheeps or anything else. You understand? Sure, sure. sure. <laughs> Chirp, chirp goes a nightingale. Oh, well, what's the difference? Sheep, sheep goes a pelican. <laughs> what's a pelican? A pelican? Yeah. I don't even know what a pelican is. All right, just, just, just forget it. No more bird calls. You've had your fun. Yeah, just want to sing the word. And we'll no, I, do, oh, I don't know the words. It's never stopped you before. <laughs> Tommy, you don't have to know the words. Don't you know what a madrigal is? A madrigal is a song... Well, medicals were songs written in the 17th century in England, and they had a lot of illiteracy there. People couldn't read, couldn't write, and they wanted to join in. They wanted to sing. They had love in their hearts, and they didn't. They couldn't read the words. You understand? Well, that's too so bad. They, that is too bad. So okay. what, you know what they did? They joined in by making up sounds. Fa la 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 fa la 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 la. See? So they could join in. So in a sense, this madrigal was written for you, since you can't read either. <laughs> Just join in with fa la la's, you understand? And then, then you don't need to make any bird calls. And then you will be working with me, not against me. Fa la la's. Don't be like me. Don't you think the rest made a new better of a creed? You can love what's the night and give us things in the tree. Fa la 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 la. Father Nightingale. <laughs> so I added in a Father Nightingale on the follow laws. Then I give the Father no, Nightingale. No, no. <laughs> Tom, you have no feeling whatsoever. I mean, it's it's really ridiculous. Finally, you do a follow law. But let you go. Fa -la -la -la. What is it? The marching song? No, it's a love song. Don't you have any feeling? Now, Tommy, mm -hmm. put yourself in the place of the young lover. Would you call him fa la 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 or would you be light and delicate and sensitive and go fa la 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 I'd go fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la, I wouldn't get very far. Oh, <laughs> just, just take my word for it, it's fa la la la, delicate and light. And that's what I want from you or nothing, you understand? But I just want to... Shut up. <laughs> no. Fa la la, no good cause. Fa la la, delicate and light. In the woods and the meadow beneath the pale moon, every lad and his lass make the most of the tune. Just keep, just keep going. I just, all I want to know is about. Yeah, I know what kind of, I know what kind of, I know what kind of uh, follow you want me to do. I just want to know what kind. Light and delicate follow All I want to know is just, if you want me to do it, 
I didn't know whether you wanted me. Everybody knows what kind of follow laws. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Yes. And I want to. All I want to know is just if you want me to do the follow laws in this verse that you're singing, or the or the, or the last verse. This is the last verse. <laughs> Let me understand. See, what I want to know. I want to do the follow laws right. I want to be real right. And I want what I want to be able to do the follow laws. I want to know if you want me to do. Them. In this verse that you're singing in right now, yeah. this this verse, or you want me to wait to the final? This is the, the final, final verse. That's what the last verse means. The final verse. You know, I mean, if you don't follow along, if you don't follow along, you said you fla la la. My brother said fla la la. You made a mistake. You said fla la la. Well, you know what I meant. You know what it's called? Fla la la. A chicken with lips. Fla la la. All right. Now this is the last verse. If you're gonna fla la la now, you better fla la la or forget it. You understand? Well, I just want light and delicate. Just in the woods and the meadow, beneath the pale moon, every lad and his lass make the most of the June. Don't allow dear in his Better When there's two in the bush, there's a bird up your tree. Be with you alone for a moment because I have a 
Well, I have a little confession to make. Well, I must admit that we have a confession to make, too. Huh? Don't, don't we, Tommy? Yeah, but why don't we let her make her confession first? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I, I'd always heard that you two were kind of difficult to work with, you know, that you were kind of troublemakers. And? Oh, oh, well, after working with you this week, I must say that you're both adorably sweet, normal people, and not what I was led to believe at all, really. Oh, oh gee, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Isn't that great, Tommy? Yeah. And, you know, you tell her uh, what she... Your turn. Your turn to confess. Tell her what you have to say. Well... I look her in your eye and tell you. Uh, Julie, um, I was under the impression all the time that, that you were cold and aloof and a, a goody-goody. And? I just wanted to confess that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we'll take a station break and be right back. You <laughs> May I help you? Um, yes, I, I'm meeting somebody. Yes, of course. Would you follow me, please? Um, is this the only table available? Well, if you're meeting three friends, I have a table for four. But if you're meeting only one, you'll have to see you. Oh, fine. Thank you. Would you care for a cocktail? Oh, well, I'm not much of a drinker. Uh, do you have whiskey here? <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. With the soda and ice? No, just the plain, thank you. Why didn't anybody say take five? <laughs> take five. <laughs> Not that five. <laughs> Need a little for the help. <laughs> May I join you? Well, I, uh, I didn't realize I was falling apart. Oh, that's humor. That's refreshing. If you don't mind, I happen to be waiting for someone. No, I don't mind. Uh, why don't I just sit here and keep you company until, uh, he arrives? Hey, how about it? How about my song, huh? I think your fan club is waiting. Yes. Coming in on a wing and a prayer. You promised me you'd play coming in on a wing and a prayer. You promised me you'd play. The <laughs> devil is in love with war songs. Thank you. Well, whiskey. Thanks. Anything for you, Mr. Miles? No, Eddie, I'll just sit here and drink in the beauty of this lovely creature. Oh, come on. Now, look here. My name is Harry Miles. In case you didn't see the sign outside, you must have seen it. The many styles of Harry Miles. It has a nice little ring to it. I don't think the photograph of me is too good, though. I think I'm much more attractive in person, don't you? I mean, I don't think that photographer, he, he didn't really catch that, that mad twinkle in my eye, that devil-may-care of my smile. Look, I'm not used to being accosted by a perfect stranger. Well, that's sweet of you to say that. I'm not really perfect, though. I... I have a small birthmark on my shoulder. I'd show it to you, but we're not permitted to go topless in here. <laughs> ah, ah, you see, you can smile. <laughs> when you're smiling, when you're smiling, the world smiles with you. Donald, if you hold it down, I promise I'll sing a song for you later. I don't want you to sing. Uh, I'd just like you to play. I drove from Pasadena to hear you play. <laughs> May I ask you, uh, why you're here? Well... No, wait, wait. Don't tell me. I'll tell you. A group of the girls at the office said you must go down and catch that sparkling, that enchanting personality of Harry Miles, who's king of the keyboard and holding sway here at the Boom Boom Room. And you, you tenacious, inquisitive devil, you couldn't avoid coming down here and seeing it all to be true. Correct? Wrong. I see. Count Basie never ever left the bench in the middle of a set. That's why he's where he is, and you're where you are. Could I have a second guess? You, uh, you had a fight with your husband. Right? Right. Uh-huh. I thought so. Must be a real heel, sweetheart. 
Yes, he is that. A real stinkeroo, probably, right? <laughs> but he's a bit of a dummy, too. Excuse me. All right. I think you better count this one. <laughs> you come here to the right place, lady. You come here to lose the blues, just let Harry Miles fill you with smiles. Let me ask you, Mr. Miles, what would you think of a man who forgets his fifth wedding anniversary? Any man who forgets any anniversary should be keel-hauled. You bet your watermelon. <laughs> you know, I accused him of taking me for granted and... Well, we had a fight. We had our first really big fight, and he stormed out of the house, and he said he was going to work. He said he was going to work. Uh-huh. And you came here, huh? Well, let's cause for a celebration, Eddie. Oh, listen, I... Please. No, no, no. I love celebrations. Yes. I haven't had a celebration since J.B. Day. <laughs> Send him a note and tell him it's V.J. Day. <laughs> I heard what you said. <laughs> He's got ears bigger than his mouth. A bottle of Coudin Rouge 67, please, Eddie, huh? I, I really don't think... No, 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 I don't want you to ever think again. Just let Harry Miles do all the thinking. Right now, I'd sell for melancholy, baby. <laughs> Listen, if you're, uh... If you're unhappy with this clown you're living with, why don't you just pack up and leave him? Well, that's sort of hard. You see, uh, I happen to love him. Oh... Love is a many splendid thing. <laughs> Herbert, would you knock it off with just a beat? Thanks very much. You love better with a piano player. <laughs> I'd ask him to leave, but he happens to be my dentist. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Smell the bouquet of that pure raspberry. It's a perfect champagne. You know, you're quite a connoisseur. Oh, not only of wine, but uh, beautiful women, too. Come on, don't, please. I'd like to propose a toast, if I may. Um, fine wines, beautiful women. I'd also like you to know that I don't take advantage of marital strife. But if you would, i get off here in about 15 minutes. Mr. Miles, are you married? Yes, I am married. Ironically enough, my wife and I had an argument this morning. See, I have a problem. My wife doesn't... Doesn't uh, understand you? It's very deceptive of you, yes. It's, it's true. She doesn't realize she's married to an artist. I mean, I'm a pianist, but I'm not always going to spend my life playing in this cocktail lounge. You're not even playing now, buddy. I... <laughs> problem is, I'm up half the night composing, because that's what I really want to do. In the daytime, I, I go and work at a department store, and then I come here at night. Rather sad plight. Mm. Often makes me have a... Uh, makes you forgetful. Yes, forgetful. I suppose uh, you sometimes have a dreadful temper, too. Oh, it's fierce. Just fierce. I sometimes have a, a tendency to say things that I, I regret. Happy anniversary, Harry. Can't see them. This, this first degree murder. 
my old friends are going. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin made the kid with Jackie Coogan. George Burns was headlining in Bordeaux. That's right, Jack. But the pay was so low, I couldn't afford to light my cigar. The number one song of 1920 was, uh, was, uh, it, uh, it uh, was called, uh... Here's the Japanese Here's the Japanese Here's the Japanese Big Joe Marino Santucci who? You know, Big Joe Marino Santucci Ferrucini. Big Joe Marino Santucci Ferrucini who? Big Joe Marino Santucci Ferrucini Romanelli. Big Joe Marino Santucci Ferrucini Romanelli who? Big Joe Marino Santucci Ferrucini Romanelli. Eh? 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 What did you say? I said Big Joe Marino Santucci Ferrucini Romanelli Scarponi. He's a guy, he's a guy. He needs a lucky hand. Oh, you took it too long, we're close. Every morning, every evening, we we got fun. Not much money, too oh, much money. Hey, we got fun. Getting closer, do we have fun? There's nothing sure at a rich get rich in the poor get poor. In the meantime, in between times. Sitting was the rage. It's amazing. Uh -huh. It's amazing. He just broke the world flagpole sitting record. Yeah. He's been up to 99 days, 6 hours, and 44 minutes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, uh oh. He just died. You're right. I'm trying. Oh, wow. What are we going to do? Oh, it's easy. We'll, we'll lower him to half mast. Trappers were 
Bobby that day with a new dance called the Shimmy. <laughs> They invented the commercial. I mean, that's what they tell me because, you know, I I wasn't born yet. Well, go ahead, will you? Somebody has to pay the bills. <laughs> movie star was Will Rogers. The first airplane flight from New York to Los Angeles took 26 hours and 50 minutes. Oh, goodness. We're only over Cleveland and we've run out of booze. Well, for heaven's sake, let's Charleston. Friendship down the drain. And in 1924, the year my wife had the good fortune to babysit for me, the biggest hit on Broadway was. No, no, planet. A little freedom now and then is apt to make the best of men a little better, even when they lead a model life. I quite agree that liberty, permitted in the right degree, produces sweeter harmony between a man and a wife. But your words sound very strange. Well, the world has seen a change. Oh, you can't with any girl at all. So just forget.
1924, Truman Capote was born and his mother had a great influence on him. Mm, well, that, that's absolutely correct. Mumsy called me Truman because she thought that I might go into politics. <laughs> Speakeasies were getting fancy and becoming nightclubs. <laughs> Jace, have you got a table for two? No. I only got a little table for one. Oh. I'll take it. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Here. Here. <laughs> The close hat was very big. Happy New Year! In 1926, Gertrude Eddeley was the first woman to swim the English Channel. Hooray! Congratulations, Miss Eddeley. You just swam the English Channel. But what took you so long? Well, the customs man stopped me in the middle and went through my trunk. <laughs> 1927 sure was a happy new year. Yeah, the country was doing crazy things just for the sake of doing them. Yowzy, yowzy, yowzy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Presidential candidate Al Smith plays golf with Babe Ruth and wins, but loses the presidency to Herbert Hoover. That was also the year that television was first demonstrated. How sweet it's going to be! Mm. <laughs> also, sound came in at 1928, and Al Jolson made the jazz singer. But the biggest thing in westerns with the advent of sound was the singing cowboy. Here's a scene from the Dancing Sagebrush, starring Buck McCoy. Hey, Buck, Buck, the crab boys have come up from the Indian territories. Holy golly. Yeah. What's that got, what's that got to do with me? Plenty, boy. They blew down your ranch house. Oh, golly, no. Yeah, and they poisoned your well. Oh, mercy, man. Hey, and they stole all your cattle. Stole all my cattle. Yeah, and they shot your favorite horse. Oh, golly, golly. And here's the pinch of buck. They kidnapped your wife. Well, no, no, no double sidewinded. Yes, oh, right. that's all kept in its last hey, Before you go, Buck, how about one of your songs? Oh, sure, I always got one. The trail to you. In 1928, Broadway's biggest hit starred Eddie Cantor in Make Him Whoopie. Another bride, another jewel, another June, another sunny, honeymoon, another season, another reason to make him whoopie. A lot of shoes, a lot of shoes, a lot of rice, a lot of rice. The groom's so nervous, he answers just twice. He answers twice, it's really killing. That he's so willing to make a whoopee. Picture a little love nest. Yeah, 
Fisher, Shay, and Baby Crow. Now, in short precious, the sharp even shop. Happy New Year. Oh. The market crashed and Wall Street laid an egg. Oh, Wall Street. Once I built a railroad, made it run, made it race against time. Spare a dime. Say what's in the package suits? He will swell. All that Yankee doodly dog. What's a million boots? Take my team to a town. I won't get with the ground. See, don't you remember? They call me Al. Sure, sure, it was Al all of the time. Huh? Yeah. I don't think I know. I don't think I know. Oh, don't you remember, buddy? Buddy, I was, I was your pal. Al? The pal? I don't, I don't. Your brother. Can you spare a dime? Can you spare a dime? Can you spare a dime? I don't, I don't know who you are. The songwriters try to lift the spirits of the country with tunes like this. So long, sad times. So long, bad times. We are rid of you at last. How we get times, cloudy great times. Now you are a thing. I'm having you back. Yes, it has been. Actually, it's the closest thing I've done to my beat the clock guesting. <laughs> my dear, I am, as always, your obedient slave, and all you need to beckon, and I will be at your side. That's all I have to do? That's all. Thank you. <laughs> and Dick, Tommy, thanks to you two for being with us this week. My dear, both my brother and myself and our bequest saw your complaint in ambiguous surfs. <laughs> I'm not finished. Oh. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Just say goodnight, Tom. Uh -huh. Good night, Tom. <laughs> good night, Rich. Good night, Alex. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Time not to go.
has been brought to you by Sears, where you'll find new things for you.